needed to see. <laughs> we can say that. How are yeah. the first two games? All right. Anyway, to this match. Yeah, the first. Yeah. We have Naren. Naren, who got Percy out of his pool, beating Sanchez. Did he, Sanchez? Sanchez went Falcon against Fox. Yep. And I know, I know his Fox is much more practiced uh, than his Falcon. Yeah. Much more. Especially in the Ditto, or in the Fox matchup, rather. Yeah. Just in, just in every match in general. Yeah. He, he like legitimately grinds tech with that character every now and then. Falcon, I don't think he ever touches, except in tournament, just to mess around. So, this matchup still seems bad for Ice Climbers. But the thing is, is that a lot of Me PM players don't know it. Yeah. And even Melee players don't know some of the uh, differences. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, do you think Fox can approach this the same way? Mostly? I'd assume so, yeah. I feel like the neutral hasn't been changed much. It's just the neutral Whoa. is better because of the... Because of the fact that they have more options, you know? Brian. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Alright. So, yeah. Either way, Kit doing super well right here. Scary situation. Oh. He actually saved Kim there, I think. Yeah, I think he did. I don't think Kim would have reached on stage, so the shine actually, because of the weakened properties in this game, mm -hmm. on Aerial Shine, he actually saved him. I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, Aerial Shine has weird properties. Probably knockback now, right? It's, it basically, the base knockback is it's no longer static knockback. Yeah. It's growing knockback. Knockback but on the air, it's a little more static or something? No, no, on the floor, it's completely yeah, yeah. It's normal, so you still wave shine everything. Oh, uh, okay. But okay. in the air, yeah, yeah, it that's now what has I mean. normal that's knockback what I mean. growth. Yeah. So now, since it has knockback growth, you won't be dying from shine spikes at zero. So I lost the first stock, but here we are. That's his rough. I feel like if he just needs to kill him before he takes out Nano. Yeah, if he gets the kill, then it's totally fine. The thing about Ice Climbers is that I don't think percent matters too much on yeah. Sopo. It's more about, it's all about that Nana percent if you have Nana. Percent does matter to the point of like, you know, third 100 or something. Yeah. But yeah, that matters. Like, but generally. yeah, like if you get them to 50 extra credit, who cares? You yeah, know, exactly. you didn't kick out Nana. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, okay. Oh, Two piece? Such a crazy setup. That's, that's the thing he has though, is that he has Tricks. like Nana dash attack setups. Yeah. Where he can. If Nana gets a dash attack, the, the Popo can get a re-grab off the dash attack. And then can set that up into another dash attack, re-grab, and so on and so on. Yeah, stuff like, yeah, I think that's it. I yeah, think that's, that's the how it infinite, works. Right? That's how it works, yeah. It, it's forward throw into reverse with a dash attack and a forward throw. And then re-grab and then do it again. Oh, oh, knocks him off. Tries to go back to see where he lands, but goes on a platform. Smart against Ice Climbers. Like, they can get some percent, but they won't get a yeah. grab off a platform. Unless they wave land on. That's not very fast. And I know Firefox has like some edging lag, but still, you know, it's not, it's not too much, right? It's like 20, 20 something. Yeah. Super close. It doesn't separate them too well. They kind of get hit, both get hit by the back air. Yeah. So, the, the thing about like percents right now, is that Fox is probably going to die to a down smash, even if he gets it to Sopo. Yes. You know? Yeah. And then, like, the thing is, Ice Climbers still have the Nana, but... Yeah. Ooh. Nice. He gets out of the up air. Ooh, wow. Speed up there it is. Nice stuff. All right, Kim looks like he's yeah. in trouble. Has an Ice Climber shirt game, looking fresh. Yep. He always has... He's got the best shirts. He does have super Not nice, the most well-dressed nice man, that's you. Tees. But he does have the best graphic tees in the business. Graphic tees are sick. Uh, Battlefield. I guess it's a good stage. This is a good stage. There's top platforms. The yep. platforms are hard for ice climbers to deal with. Just honestly, the platform layout's so good, and yeah. it's like it's relatively spacious for a tried platform setup. So that means Fox, you know, has a bit of room to move around. But. That's a very quick That's all it is. Very quick. Yeah, Kitten showing that he really knows this matchup. Because yeah. we, we talked about how, oh, well, you know, Naren might know this because he's a melee player. Kitten's going to know this really well, too, because he played melee Ices. He also was originally an Ices main. That's melee. what I... Yeah, yeah that's... Uh, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Just clarifying your Clarifying. All right. I throw him on the floor. You put him in the neat stats. Yeah. Sort him. Super good team, dude. Yeah. You're the delivery truck. I'm yep. the one who brings it in. Yeah. 
the middleman, so to say. The middleman. All right, so can so reach in a little bit with smash attacks. Not too bad, though. I mean, got him the first stock, but I'd like to see him play a little more patient in the neutral here rather than reaching like he is. See, look, he's just, I think for the fast, like, past, like, five interaction neutral, it's been wave dash, like, down smash, wave dash forwards, like that. Mm -hmm. It's been like that for, like, a good 30 seconds now. Yeah, I, I feel like Fox has to have an answer to that, right? Can yeah. Fox just, like, shine when they wave dash in? or Just, like, whiff punish? Yeah. Honestly, Fox is so fast, his whiff punish is very scary. Yeah. But, I mean, it's he's in the lead. Yep. He's in the lead, so it's working out for him. Yeah, it's got decently low percents and both climbers. And like just like that, he starts using yeah. Blizzard, mixes it up. When Some players have the ability to just, like, turn a switch and completely switch their neutral. Yeah. Make it more slow it's or more really aggressive crazy. right away. That kind of stuff, like, it gets in the other person's head. Yeah. Like, they spent, like, the better part of, like, game one, a couple stocks here, trying to, like, figure out that neutral. Flip that switch, it's like, got to start over. So yeah, that's one difference is that Ice Climbers, they aren't as punished if mm -hmm. they hit their side beat. Like, in Melee, if, you know, they come on stage with a side beat, you crouch cancel that, just punish out of it. Here, there's like a there's like a big hit at the end of it or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I just um, know you're it. talking about side beat, right? Yeah, I'm talking about side beat. Yeah, if, they, if they're both there at the end, it's a decent hit. Okay. Like, enough so that they can ever really they punish you if they hit it, yeah. So, yeah, I'm talking about field because I actually don't know what it is, but... So there's that hit, and it's just like... If you if you don't know it's there, like, you're going to try to crouch cancel a couple times, you're going to get messed up. Alright. Well, it goes for the Nana instead of securing the... Or, it goes for the Popo instead of securing the Nana kill. I'm, I think that was a mistake. Oh. Oh, yeah, it gets to re-grab. Oh, and that's my it. God. Oh, he did it. Yo, that was sick. That was sick. That's what he that wanted to do.